Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I thought we'd look at the modeling menu set and take a look at the edit mesh menu and the merge command. Merge right here. If you notice under the edit mesh menu, it's divided into certain categories. Here we have components, down here further along we have vertex, then edge, then face. So these commands that are underneath the face category are for faces. You apply these commands to faces specifically. And these to vertices and these to edges. But these com these commands up here can be assigned to any of the three components. Vertices, edges, and faces. So merge is a command that you can merge faces, you can merge edges, or you can merge vertices. So let's show examples of that. It's a pretty simple tool. So I'm going to go to create polygon primitives. I'm just going to use a plane for this example. And I'll scale it up so we can see it better. And I'll hide the grid. So this plane, I'm going to, let's go to shading, wireframe on shaded, just so we can see the wireframe without having to have the uh, geometry selected. So you can see all the edges and vertices that are in this plane by default. So let's say we want to merge some of these components together. If I right click on the plane and hold down, the marking menu appears that we can choose which component we want to select, which component we want to edit. So we have edges, vertices, and faces. Those are our main three. There are these other options, of course, but we can choose one of these main three for this command. Let's choose faces first. So I'm going to choose faces. The plane that kind of highlights blue, indicating it's in component mode. And when I cursor over these faces, they highlight, indicating that I can select them. So I'm just going to select this face, hold shift, and select this face next to it. So let's say I want to merge these faces together. So with these two faces selected, I can go to Edit Mesh, Merge. And you'll see that nothing happens at first. You'll notice that the vertices highlight. And here we have this box called Distance Threshold. Now if we go into the Edit Mesh Merge Options, this little box, you'll notice that of the two options available, there is a threshold slider, which is what this is, distance threshold, and then a checkbox for always merge for two vertices. Since we're dealing with faces right now, we can ignore that checkbox. But by default, the threshold value is a very, very small number, 0 0.0100. So it's a very, very tiny distance threshold by default. So if I were to left click on the distance threshold name here and slide it up, you can notice that as I get toward a value of 1, those faces then merge together. So it had to get beyond the distance threshold in order for the merge to actually happen. By default, with such a small distance for the threshold, the, vertice, the faces that we were merging together were not close enough for that threshold. So increasing that distance threshold then allowed those faces to then merge together. I'm going to hit Z to undo before the change. So now I'll right click and choose uh, vertices, vertex for my component type. So I'll select some vertices, hold down shift and add these vertices to my selection. And then I'll go to edit mesh, merge. And again, we can look at the options. You can see we have these, this threshold slider, which is distance threshold. And then there's a checkbox for always merge for two vertices. So with that in mind, let's actually deselect three of these vertices. So we only have two vertices selected. So this checkbox says always merge for two vertices. So I'm going to hit apply. And you'll notice even with such a small distance threshold, those vertices will still merge together because of this checkbox. This, check this checkbox says that if you ha only have two vertices selected, no matter how far apart they are, this command will always merge them together. Let me undo that and uncheck this box. Then I'll hit apply. And you'll notice nothing happens then. And then I have to use the distance threshold and increase that value in order for the vertices to then merge together. So let me go back to object mode here. I'm going to edit delete by type history just to get rid of those old uh, merges that we did that no longer need to take effect. That was edit delete by type history. And that just, like I said, removes the history of the plane the other things that we did to it. So next, if we right click on the plane and choose edges, we can select edges to merge, right? So we have some edges selected. Go to edit mesh, 
merge. And let's go into the options. And you'll notice here that all the edge, that merging edge options are a lot different than merging vertices. If I right click and choose vertices and, and select vertices, you'll see the settings here are for the distance threshold and for the checkbox like we already saw. If I again choose faces, you see these settings here again. But then I choose edges and suddenly these settings change. So what's going on here? This is the merge border edges options. Now it's very important you understand this is merge border edges, emphasis on border. Okay, so the only edges that can be merged are the border edges and border edges are the edges that are around the outside of the surface. In this case this plane's border edges are these edges I have selected here along the outer edge of the plane. So merging border edges only is what this does. So how does this work? So what you actually would need is a gap in your plane in, in this case. If I right click and choose faces I'm going to select these faces in the middle and hit delete. So now my border edges I go right click and choose edges again. Now my border edges are these edges here, including these running down the middle. These are border edges, the border of the geometry. So now what I want to do is merge border edges. I want to merge these edges together like this. So I have these edges selected that are opposite of each other on across this divide. And so let's look at our options. I have merge UVs. So the checkbox here just simply means that I'm telling Maya to also merge the UVs of these edges in addition to the actual geometry of these edges. If you're not sure what UVs are, click over here, feel free, and uh, check out this playlist I have that go over all of the videos I have so far as of, as of this recording, talking about uh, UVs, what they are, and what they do. They, to kind of put it in a nutshell, they are texture coordinates for the geometry. So you can choose to merge the UVs of these uh, texture coordinates at these edges or not with this checkbox. Then threshold, again, it's just like the distance threshold. There is a uh, threshold that Maya will look for when it comes to merging these edges together. And then the threshold distance, world space or local space. And this indicates, uh, it's kind of looking at the scale of the object. If you're looking at the world space, you're looking at the scale of the world. So the value here, a value of one, for example, if I type in one enter, this is going to look within one world unit. And a world unit can most e most easily be explained by looking at the grid in Maya. So one of these boxes here is one Maya unit. So with world space, and we're looking at a threshold of one, in this case, it's going to look within this distance right here. Now you could say local space, and depending on the scale of the object, or if it's parented to something else that's been scaled, the local space could be much different than the world space. So it just depends on uh, which kind of scale you're looking for. Uh, depends on which of these you'd probably want to choose. Probably sticking with world space will most likely work most of the time. Uh, if it doesn't, you can try local space and just see if that uh, does what you want instead. All right, so now that we know what these two things are, we have merge UVs, we'll keep it on. I'm going to hide the grid again. So now I have my edges selected and I want to merge them. So right now my threshold is one. Now we probably know just by looking at the grid that this distance here of one is probably not far enough for this to work, but we'll keep it there for now just so you can kind of see what happens. I'm going to click merge. Okay, so nothing happens. That was expected because of the tolerance setting here. That uh, threshold is one, which is not far enough. So over here in the channel box, you can see I have tolerance which is one, and you can also choose merge UVs on or off right here. So let's say I type in a number two here and hit enter. Okay, still not far enough. How about four? Enter. Okay, so now with a tolerance of four, that distance has been bridged, that gap has been, uh, is large enough, that search area is large enough to actually bridge these two together and merge these border edges together. Okay, now you need to be careful with this tool specifically with going too high with the tolerance. If I did a tolerance of 50, for example, oh, in this case it worked fine. I was trying it out earlier and I had a case where the edges actually merged very strangely when I had a very high tolerance. Let me try selecting a couple edges here and just kind of see if 
I can recreate that weird error I got just so you can be aware of it hopefully I can recreate that so I'm going to merge and let's just uh, threshold of 10 <laughs> of course it's working perfectly now well anyway just so you know I did have an instance where I had a very high tolerance and I got some a lot of uh, twisting in here inside between the two uh, planes it's not happening now, of course, since I'm trying to show it to you. <laughs> but if that does happen, what that simply means is your tolerance is too high. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Tolerance is too high. Bring it down to you know the distance that you actually need, and it should fix that issue if you run into it. That is the merge edge options. Now, before I call this video done, but let's say you wanted to actually merge edges that are within your geometry, like we were doing with our faces and vertices. What should you do? If you wanted to merge these two edges together, you would have to instead go to Edit Mesh, Merge to Center. If I try this, then you can see those two edges will collapse into a point. That's under Edit Mesh, Merge to Center. Anyway, that is the Merge command. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about Merge and also merging those border edges. Uh, hopefully that comes in handy for you sometime down the road. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you choose to support me in a more personal way, please consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. That would really be awesome to get you on board. The, my patrons so far do receive all these videos uh, earlier than the public do. I'm always looking for ideas so for more perks to give to my Patreon uh, supporters. If you do think of anything that you might uh, like to see in that regard, please let me know. I'd love to be able to make my patrons uh, more feel more appreciated for sure. Uh, again, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>